Hi everyone, my name is Heather and I'm the person behind Happy Puppy Truffles. Today I wanted to share with you guys another in my little series of seven things I think are really cool that you can get at Daiso to help you ring in the new year. And uh, like I said, these aren't really in any particular order, but these are just some things I think are really great that you can get there. And the next thing I wanted to share with you guys is a pretty obvious one, I think. Um, everybody wants to get calendars at Daiso. Uh, it's really, really without a doubt, one of the best deals that you can get. Um, they have cute calendars everywhere, of course. And if you're really gung-ho about a certain kind of thing or a style or a bunch of photos that you really want, I suppose, going to the bookstores and other department stores to buy your calendar would be okay. But they're going to run you, you know, easily 15 to 20 $30, depending on which ones you're getting. Now, if you just want something to hang on your wall so that you know when the holidays are and you don't really care, obviously going to Daiso and only having to spend 100 yen is perfect. Um, if you see a lot of people, especially in my house, because we're also a business, we have calendars in every room. So it's really nice to be able to go to Daiso and get these and have them everywhere. There are different versions so that you can really cover all your calendar needs. This is a very basic monthly calendar. We have some that are big poster size that show the whole year. Some that are bi-monthly so that you can look at each one. Some that have three months in a row and you tear off ones as you go. All sorts of different choices, different sizes, different colors, different designs, anything you can think of. Now, sometimes at Daiso, they do have stuff like that's Disney. They do have some things that are Sanrio. They do have uh, uh, some photo calendars that feature cute dogs and cute kittens. Now, if you're really gung-ho and you really want cute hamsters, you're probably not going to find that at Daiso and you're going to have to go to a different place. But... For the most part, the general stuff is there. This one this year really caught my eye because I just thought it was such a cute sort of, uh, you know, showing the traditional Japanese paper here. Um, and then and then there's a nice illustration. The illustrator did a good job on these, I think. This illustration shows something for each month that's particular to Japan. So this is Osechi Dori, which is the special New Year's food that we eat. And then there's an origami crane there. It just seemed perfect. Um, but, you know, you can see some of the other things. Uh, there's Hinamatsuri for March, uh, Kids Day for May, uh, some of the uh, Tanabata for July. Just, you know, really common things that you'd see that are a part of uh, Japanese culture with this cute little design there. And then each of the, each of the uh, background, you know, outer border patterns is repeated of this cute uh, cherry blossom pattern. And you can even see the fibers of the paper here, too. So it's more of a traditional sort of nice washi style kind of origami, uh, you know, sort of fancy paper kind of calendar. And it's only 100 yen. I mean, that's perfect, right? Um, obviously, if you get this for friends and you're taking it home to your country, there are a few things to remember. We have holidays that you guys don't, so that can be confusing. Also, you know, the days here, in this case, this calendar, it's all written in Japanese. So that's the Sunday through Saturday written in Japanese. And then Ichigatsu, this is the first month. Uh, there's no names for the months in Japan. They're just uh, the first month, the second month, the third month. So that can be a little confusing, but... For the most part, you know, it's still a really neat kind of fun thing to get as a gift. But I know for my own experience of having, you know, excitedly bought some calendars when I was in America and bringing them back here and then being frustrated because I didn't know what days my kids had off from school because it's a different country. That can be confusing. So <laughs> you want to keep that in mind. But it's such a cute calendar though. Very adorable. And, you know, just easy tear away kind of style. And 100 yen. Now the other thing that is really popular here in Japan despite being this awesome tech company, play tech country that you might be familiar with here, a lot of people use uh, schedule books. Um, you know, they have their smartphones, they have their phones, but and they sometimes keep calendars in there, but it's just really not that popular. A lot of people still like to have a schedule book. And uh, you can tell how popular it is when you look and you try to go shopping anytime you get into December. All the bookstores, department stores, everywhere will just be flooded with all of these different variations of schedule books. And, um, you know, mostly they're directed, I suppose, towards women. Girls like to have them. They're very cute. They try to find one that has cute design on it that they like. They're given away at donut shops and things, too. So it's just really a big part of everything. Um, but the nice thing is, is a lot of them have little extra features. Like this one starts from, from October. Uh, and um, this is just a really simple one. I got it because I like owls. Uh, and there's no repeated design anywhere on the inside. It's just basically the same thing as any other one would be. There's just your classic month schedule. 
uh, and then sections for notes and personal information. So very simple, just a monthly calendar. There's, of course, weekly calendars, daily calendars, all sorts of different options of things you can get. Ones that have uh, bindings so you can change and put them into uh, binders too. Uh, just so many different things that you can use it for. Uh, lately for moms, they have these cute ones that have different uh, columns that go towards different members of your family. So you can mark which column goes for which member of your family. So you can mark down their schedule if you have a lot of kids and people's schedules to be worrying about. That could be really cool. So just so many different choices. That kind of advanced ones are not at Daiso, but these kinds that are just really simple that you can throw into your bag, take with you anywhere, Easily, 100 yen, no problem. Uh, and most of them are this size. This is a standard size for a schedule book. Um, there are some that are a little bigger, but this is usually about how big they are. So, um, and it's just really adorable thing to have. So um, that, you know, is part of the whole calendar idea of things that are available in Japan at Daiso to help you celebrate New Year's. Um, so if you happen to be here and you want to pick up some things like that, I think they're a pretty fun thing to add to stuff. Uh, just keeping in mind, of course, that the holidays are going to be different, so uh, keep that in mind. But uh, yeah, uh, so I still have a few more things to share with you guys from this sort of series that I've been doing, showing you guys some cool things to help you celebrate New Year's from Daiso. Um, look for those, and uh, as always, thanks you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!